Welcome back. The organ most commonly given by a living donor is the kidney. There are more than 100,000 people on the National Transplant transplant list with more than half waiting for a kidney. In a story you will only see here on Channel 3, Eyewitness News reporter Aliyah Red shares how a retired teacher's generous donation reduced the wait time for one man saving his life. It's a challenging profession. It's a lot. Of, it's a lot. You know, it is. It's a lot. And at the end of the day, uh, you're tired. <laughs> For most teachers, when the bell rings, the workday comes to an end and they head home. But English teacher Josh Green has another job waiting for him. Come home, hook up to dialysis, you know, finish that, disconnect, get up, go to work, rinse and repeat. A schedule Josh became familiar with after being diagnosed with stage 5 kidney disease. She kept mentioning this fellow teacher, Josh. Trisha Salafia's daughter, Cheyenne, is a teacher who works alongside Josh for Harford Public Schools. She would tell her mother about his tiresome routine. But I thought to myself, that man is amazing. That's incredible. That Trisha is a retired teacher. After hearing about Josh time after time, she decided it was time to do something. I gave my kidney on August 8th. I got a phone call from Trish. You know, saying, hey, guess what? <laughs> it says, yeah, you're going to get a kidney. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> but it wasn't Trisha's kidney he received. She was not a match for Josh. Trisha was able to move Josh up on the transplant list through Hartford Hospital's Living Donor Program. People who aren't compatible that wish to donate on their family members or friends' behalf to go ahead and donate on their behalf, just not directly to them. I looked at this as this is pain with a purpose, so I can do this. Bashoy Emanuel, the surgeon for the transplant, says Trisha's kidney was sent to Pennsylvania and Josh's came all the way from California. Trisha's pain leaves the high school English teacher speechless. <laughs> Knowing that somebody who doesn't even know you cares enough, you know, to go through this, you know, just to, you know, to give me a better life. I mean, what do you say to that? I mean, there are no words. In Hartford, Aaliyah Red, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.